This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in the state of New York. We're here with Kevin and Amanda Fates. Since 2018, they've been helping you buy your next dream home or sell in today's fast-moving real estate market. Guys, thanks so much for joining us here today. We're going to start off a little bit about yourself, Amanda. You've been really a licensed realtor with Next Home. Um, this is a husband and wife team on the Terry team. Um, you have a background in hematology as well as oncology. Share with us a little bit what you did prior to real estate and um, how real estate was a pretty good fit for you. I've been in the medical field for about 10 years. I was a medical receptionist uh, prior to doing real estate. And in 2018, I decided we were in the process of selling our own house. And I decided I was kind of interested in it. So I chatted with our real estate agent and... Um, Kind of got my feet wet, did my licensing, and kind of hit the ground running from there, and I love every bit of it. I mean, as you've lived in your area of New York State, and you're natives to the area, you've seen changes in real estate. Where are we at in the market right now? I imagine like the rest of the country, this is a good time to sell. Why is that? So the, the best way to put it is, is that there's uh, supply and demand, right? Uh, so it's a great time to, to be selling because there's not a whole lot of supply out there. Um, people are either staying put or they're, um, they're maybe sometimes they're looking for a second home. So at this point, um, it's a good time to, to sell because prices are a little bit higher than uh, they have been in the past. And uh, I think more people are staying home because of COVID. Uh, they may be looking to have a little bit extra space, uh, maybe upgrade because now they're working from home. Whereas to, uh, before they, they didn't spend as much time at home, right? And so now you've got people that are staying, you know, instead of eight hours a day at home, they might be, you know, they might be home for days at a time. I mean, obviously the laws of supply and demand are heavy in real estate, whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market. Why is it not in anyone's really best interest, if you will, to buy or sell real estate on their own? and instead make sure they have a professional like yourselves in their corner. Well, we can offer things that, such as marketing and, you know, even just our local MLS, um, once we put it live, it gets sent and gets broken out into all these different um, well, of course, all the agents. websites and agents, and you can't really do that when you're selling your house by yourself. Um, we do open houses. We really just work for our clients to get them the best price and the best deal that we can get them. And with our social media and all of our resources, we can we can give them more than they can on their own by just putting something on social media what? themselves. Bottom line is, I know realtors live and breathe the occupation. I mean, you're committed mm -hmm. to basically that client. Uh, your home base is New York State, but are you able to help anyone from anywhere who's relocating? I mean, does technology make that possible today where it's easy to communicate effectively across state lines? Yeah, I mean, we get, we get calls and inquiries all the time from people that are out of state looking to move locally. Um, and we've, we do FaceTime videos with clients. Um, we send them videos. We do basically do whatever we can to make it a seamless process for them if they're not local. Um, and a lot of times people will travel up here just to check it out after they've already got the property under contract. So definitely try to make it as seamless as possible for anybody coming in from out of state. That is excellent. I mean, although it's exciting to be buying um, a home, especially a first time home buyer, um, but it also can be rather frustrating, even scary, as they navigate through the process. How important is constant communication with your client, kind of helping them sleep at night? Honestly, just keeping them in the loop every step of the way um, from that first initial point of contact with the client, giving them the trust in you that you're going to basically hold their hand through the entire process. Um, any email communication you get, just keep them in contact and make them know this is where we're at, this is where we're going, this is what's to expect next. Um, it, it, it really, communication is the biggest part of a real estate transaction. I mean, Amanda, face it, it's scary for these first time home buyers. It's overwhelming. Um, from the first call all the way to the closing table, there are many steps that need to be taken. You pride yourself on providing superior personal service before, during, and even after the transaction. 
Is that important to you? Oh, absolutely. And I make sure I work with and um, provide resources of attorneys and lenders that can provide that same quality of service that I like to pride myself on as well. So it really is a team effort. It's not just me. It's everybody that I work with as well. So That is interesting. Even though these homes out there many times are selling above the asking price, as the seller is, is deciding on an asking price, how important is it to provide realistic expectations for them and help them set kind of their emotions aside to make sure that their asking price is going to provide the best return for them, but yet at the same time is going to sell in a timely manner? I would say that it's it's key, right? We don't want to we don't want to promise the world and then deliver nothing, right? Or come uh, subpar. So I, I like to show facts, you know, show what what they've been selling for, where where everything's been at. If we get more, awesome, right? Like the, every, that's a win. As we see the interest rates seeming to rise out there, why do you think it's still a a good time to buy, Amanda? Um, I mean, even though interest rates are rising, I don't think that's going to necessarily scare buyers. Um, it, it's it's very much a still a seller's market. Um, right. People want houses. They don't want to rent anymore or they've got certain circumstances that they need to buy. Um, so I think we're still going to see a, a seller's market for quite a while. And I don't think we're going to have any lack of buyers with the increasing interest rates. That is good. That's what I'm hoping out there as well. Next Home was not your first brokerage. Why did you choose them recently? And uh, did you feel they're a great fit, not only to support you, but really a team to support your clients as well? Yeah, so I joined Next Home about two years ago. Um, I had worked previously with my broker owner um, at my previous company, and she brought Next Home to Central New York. And just the what that company stands for. I mean, our branding and everything that goes with it, our logo is um, humans over houses. And that speaks volumes to me. I mean, it's, we're not just selling a house. We are helping somebody purchase a home somewhere where they're going to raise their family and, you know, start new careers. And it's not yeah. just about that. And I very much loved what Next Home stood for and what their beliefs were. So that's so, why I chose Next Home. So really the culture of that organization met well with you as well, be it selling yeah. houses or providing financial advice. For you, I mean, obviously this is about people. Like she said, humans over houses. This is about turning houses into dream homes. Do you enjoy the process, both of you, of, of getting to know your client? I love it. That's that's what I'm. You know, this. You know, some people call it a career or job. Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, I, I love. I love people. You know, dealing with people. I like working with people. Uh, that's that's my passion. Um, and a lot of times they start out as clients, but in the end they end up being friends. Let me ask you, as a as a husband and wife team, do you feel your clients kind of get the experience of a two for the price of one, if you will? and you're able to serve them a little bit better. I mean, is this a, is a good balance between the two of you? Is this kind of a extrovert, introvert, and a yin yang? How does it work for you guys working together? I, I would call it complimentary, right? So it's not just, um, it, it's, it's the two of us, you know, if she has a question you know, uh, or a problem, maybe I can solve it or, you know, vice versa. But it's also, uh, we're, it's actually more than just the two of us. So there's actually six of us, part of the Terry team. So. Um, we, we even we add even more uh, than just a, just a husband and wife. So um, it, it's 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 bigger than that. Uh, we yeah. always have somebody that if we can't get to a showing or we can't have a client right in that immediate moment, there's always somebody available that can. Um, so that's kind of what makes us stand out from other agents or other teams in the area. Nice to have a team you're working with. Obviously, it's better for the client. Amanda, words like knowledge, commitment, honesty, expertise, and professionalism. Um, do these continue to be really the cornerstone of your success? And every day, do you pretty much look forward to just helping people? Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. I'm going to leave it with you, Kevin. You have always provided clients with customized solutions to meet their financial goals. Uh, with real estate, I mean, really, this is just one more tool in your arsenal. Do you continue 
uh, to be rewarded. And is this rewarding for you um, in this new venture? Absolutely. There's uh, no doubt in my mind. I, I, I love showing the houses and I, I love seeing the, the reactions when uh, the, the kids get to, to see their bedrooms, right? Or the, the, the couples get to buy their first home. Um, so it's, it's definitely, it, it's rewarding. There's no better feeling than handing them that key on the day before closing or the, day, the morning of closing and saying, this, you got there and it's because of how hard you've worked and how, what you've done to get here. After the ups and downs on the process to actually hand those keys over, very rewarding for both sides. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, you can see more of the new listings out there, possibly in your area. I mean, be it a new home, be it your first home or relocating, maybe uh, your next investment. Reach out to this husband and wife team who are ready to serve you. Uh, that is Ke Kevin and Amanda Fates. Um, in the state of New York, they guarantee you will see the difference quality service makes. This is Gary Atencia with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.